Detective Ober, good to see you here. So what case am I getting to now? All right. Uh, his name is Brent Anderson. He went missing on the night of February 28th. Who's currently in the room right now? Uh, his fellow classmate named Sarah. All right. Sarah Levin, second year UC Irvine student, majoring in art. You were a close classmate of Brent's, correct? Yes. Can you tell me about the interactions you had with him? Well, it was the first week of winter quarter. It was before class, and I was sitting by myself reading a book when he first came up to me. Hey, what book are you reading? Just a horror story. I like the novel. It's a really good story. Name's Brent. Sarah. After that, we would talk to each other a lot in class. I noticed how nice, sweet, and charming he was. Wow. How romantic. It took me a while, but I ended up having the courage to ask him. Oh, hey, um, so I was wondering since the exam is coming up, I don't know if you'd like to study tomorrow at two? Yeah, sure. Cool. However, when that day arrived, I accidentally showed up a little later than we agreed. Hey, I'm sorry I was late. I was... But when I arrived, there was something off about him. Did you see it? What? Sarah, did you see what was on my screen? Uh, um, did you see it? No. Did. You. See it. No. Let's just move on to studying. We didn't talk to each other during that study session. It was quiet. Then, when we were about to leave... Hey, are you sure you didn't see anything? Yeah, I didn't see anything. Hey, can you wait for a moment? Can you do me a favor? Yeah, what is it? Can you forget about me? And that was the last thing he said to me. After that, he went missing. Can you tell me where he might have gone? I don't know. But I may know someone who does. Edgar wait. Third year film major. You were Brent's roommate, correct? Yeah. Can you tell me more about the interaction you had with him? Yeah, he was he was kind and nice. He helped me with a lot of my problems. In a way, he was a cool person, but there were some weird things about him. Can you go into those weird things in detail, perhaps? Yeah, it started when I first moved in. So, you must be my new roommate. My name's Brent. Uh, my name's Edgar. I already cleaned that bed. So that one's yours. set some rules. Yeah, sure. Rule number one, under no circumstances are you to open that cabinet. Uh, um, okay. I mean it. Don't open it. At first I didn't really question it, I just thought he had some really embarrassing stuff in there. It wasn't until one day when I spotted him in the common room. Fuck! Are, are you okay? Uh, 
Yeah, it's nothing. I'll, I'll be fine. I promise everything's gonna be all right. Don't worry, I'm, I'm good. After that, I started questioning him. I started questioning all the stuff he said to me. I started questioning the cabinet. It wasn't until a couple weeks later that I had the opportunity to answer that question. Hey! I thought I said, don't go into the cabinet. And do you remember what happened after that? I was so afraid, I just said sorry and went back to bed. After that, I had to leave for the weekend to visit my family. Then came back. And with the cabinet? All right, ready to go? Before I go, can I say something? Go ahead. Look, I don't know where he is or what he's doing, but there is something wrong with him. Don't go looking for him, okay? I'm warning you right now to leave this case while you still can. All right, I need, I need to ask you to leave right now. Jeez, is that the last person we're interrogating? No, we, we got one more person. No, Griffin. Fourth year, engineering major. I told you all, I know anything about this person. We know. However, on an eyewitness testimony, you were the last person to see him before he disappeared. Now, that could be a coincidence. Just tell us what happened that night. Fine. I was walking home from class one night when I happened to bump Oh, shit. I'm sorry, man. Hey, you okay? Hey! That's it. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what else happened to him, and honestly, I don't want to know. Alright. I got one more question for you. Where is this park? It's Aldrich Park. It's on campus. Why don't you check it out for yourself, dude? You're going there by yourself? You sure you don't want any backup? Man, I'll be fine. I prefer to work alone anyways. I'll only be for a little bit. All right, well, if anything goes south, make sure you call for backup. This is Detective Kane Wilbur of the Irvine Police Department. I'm currently at UC Irvine Aldrich Park. I'm on the Brett Anderson case. That was a joke at first, but something about this place is suspicious, man. It's, something don't smell right around here. Hey, Brett, is that you? Game's over, buddy. They've been talking about you like you the boogeyman. I scare you. I'm the fuck you boogeyman. Oh shit. This is the case who came over. I don't think you see Irvine Police Department. Whatever you do, do not do this Brent Anderson case. Everything is true. 
I don't, I don't know what the fuck this guy is. I don't know what the fuck I got myself into. Oh my god. If you value your life, whatever you do, do. Oh, fuck. oh shit. Oh shit. Ah!